Guys, Dave from Crystal Clear Water here. We've been getting 30, 40, 50 phone calls a day, service calls a day from cavitating well pumps, no waters. And what's happening, this is the time of year where the water table is dropping. The water table is dropping and it's going down and it's about 117 feet. Most people, when they put a well pump in, is about 120 feet, 130 feet tops. So what's happening is the water table is at 100, 117, and your water table is cavitating. So it's going up and down, and your pump is going up and down until basically you call and you have no water. Sometimes it's too late. Sometimes you need a new well drilled because your pump sat there, ran, 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 got so hot that it melted itself to the casing. Then you needed to get a new well drilled. Then you have to get a new pump installed. We're trying to prevent that from happening. So what you want to do, if you have an irrigation, go turn your irrigation on. Let it run for 15, 20 minutes to keep an eye on it. Okay? So here's the irrigation system right here. Full blast. See it going up and down? I'm trying to get myself in the eye here. So as if it goes up and down like this, it's cavitating. It's pulsating. So that means we need to drop your pump down deeper because it's uh, right at the water table. All right, if you don't have a well, uh, a sprinkler system, if you don't have one, what you want to do is turn your irrigation on, your hose bib right here. Turn your hose bib on, let it run, make sure you don't see it. Go down and then up. Same, same thing, same theory. You don't want to see that. If you have an aerator or a whole house RO, you're not going to notice this happen because you're basically going to run out of water before you realize there's a problem. So one thing you can do if you have a whole house RO or if you hear this noise, make sure you call us and make sure you do something because you don't want your booster pump to go bad either. So that's your booster pump starving for water. Now that can mean a couple of different things. That could mean your, your filter housing here it has a filter that's plugged up or that could mean you're struggling for water. Either way, it's a problem. It'll make your pump go bad. And if it, you're getting sand in there from, from your filter housing, from your well, it'll do that with your filter and make it plug up and do the same thing. So make sure you find these issues or find this before it becomes into a bigger issue. It's now the season, it's dry season. So there's so many calls, so many people running out of water. We need to work together Number one, you don't run your irrigation unless you need to because it will become a problem. I, I think everybody's on restriction right now. You only run it two times a day. But make sure you turn your irrigation on and try it. Run it for 15, 20 minutes. Turn your oil water on at the well. Run it, see if it cavitates. All right? If it does, you see it cavitate, give us a call because we've got to drop your pump. We have to put it down deeper. Okay? Every year, the water table gets lower and lower and lower. The wells are drilled lower and lower every single year. So give us a call today, Dave with Crystal Clear Water, 239-599-8873.